Right, these are the four, whoops, these are the four uh, moulds in question. Uh, to start off with, we've got the 6x10 uh, cobblestones, yes, yeah, that's that one. Then we've got the French made uh, manhole and frame, which is this one. I know you can't see much from that distance, but I will drop down and we'll have a closer look. This is the uh, cobblestone curb edgings, and the final one is storm drains. Now, there is a fifth one uh, which was out of stock, uh, but that will be wheeling its way to me, so that will be included. And that is paving slabs, uh, small 12 by 12 ones which they used to use on the on the paths so that one will be included in this but what I shall do will I will take a close look at the mold and then I'll go off and cast some off camera because I need to do a bit of experimenting because these are totally new to me I shall cast them and we'll have a look to see what the results are like on on all of them individually so I shall drop down now and we'll take a close look at the cobblestones. All right, this is the cobblestones. I know it's not too exciting to look at, but you do get the 76 full ones and we get four halves. So I know there's not a great deal, but I just thought I'd show you the actual mold. It's thick silicon rubber, smooth on the back and I think you can just about see through there the detailing on the top which we're not going to see too much until they're actually cast so what I shall do now I shall go off and I shall cast these and we'll have a little look at them and there's not a lot I can say about these either but these are absolutely gorgeous they are I know I cast them myself but the detail, the texturing, if you want to call it, is absolutely spot on. They're, they come out of moulds, beautiful. And I'm really going to look forward to using these. Now I'm going to take that one out of shot for a second. And then move this one in because I've done one little, little bit of weathering. And then you look at that. Okay. You can't argue with that, can you? They look good. They really do look good. I am so impressed with these moulds. I think there's going to be a lot more moulds uh, going on in uh, my camp now. There's no more I can say. They're just, they're just brilliant. I think it speaks for itself. Right, on to the next one. Right, the next one up is the curb edgings. Uh, and you can just about see the detail inside this mold because it's quite small and I'm down pretty close and you can just see that the texturing on the inside of the mold this is exactly the same very flexible silicon rubber you get quite a few uh, curb edgings of different length you get I haven't got a pointy stick we use that, that's small enough. Uh, you seem to get two of that size, two of this size here, and then you seem to get uh, two, three, four, five of this size, and then one, two, three, four of the smaller size, which is just so you don't have to keep cutting them up, I suppose, to make your curb edgings. You get one cheese, that's what it's called, for a tight corner, so you can just put your uh, one piece to there and one piece to there to make a real sharp, tight corner. Uh, then you've got another one to make a gradual corner and another one to make even a, a longer corner. But I will cast these up uh, and we'll have a look at these and we'll put them together and see how they come out. So I'm off now and I'll get these ones cast. 
as promised I'm back with a casting now these as you can see are absolutely beautiful they really are the the detailing on them uh, I am more than happy with it I really am really pleased with these now this is the uh, corner which I said in the clip before you probably need two but you only need one to create that corner uh, and over here we have they call this the cheese and just just I'm just showing you what they look like and then over here we have I call the slow corner and yeah, you're going to need two of them to actually make a slow corner but the detail on it is fantastic and the nice thing about it is they're detailed both sides uh, if you can see that I'm trying to twist my arm around they're detailed so if you wanted to do uh, a path the opposite way so you actually had a corner like that coming inwards you know you could actually do that with no problem at all me personally I think these are absolutely beautiful and I'll move it out of the way for a second I'll bring this one in now <laughs> they look even better I did uh, just a small bit of pigment on it in a box with some sand small amount of pigment and they are absolutely I really am chuffed with them I really am uh, I'm going to really enjoy uh, putting these on to uh, well actually building a diorama let's see if I can get a little bit closer they really came out really smashing I can see there's going to be a lot more of these moulds being used in Simon Kemp's uh, camp right that's that one um, off to the next one right now we're looking at the French style manhole and the reason why it is a French style uh, because British ones have don't have a square frame uh, actually nor the German German have a circular frame I think uh, but the French have the square one which is going to make it nice and easy especially when you're laying blocks you don't have to cut round a, a half circle which is nice but the detail on this is in the mould is absolutely fantastic Sorry about the rocky stick, but there's anything I can find. And this is going to be another nice one. Now these are supposed to be cast in resin. They do say on their website this mould will take resin, but also it will take a very hard uh, casting powder, which I'm going to give it a go in the hard in the hard casting powder, which is what I've got, and uh, we'll see what the results come out like. Right, yes again, there is nothing to say, all you've got to do is have a look, the detailing is absolutely fantastic, these two items marry up, I'm going to get it in place, perfectly, look at that, look. absolutely perfect, the detailing is absolutely beautiful. And uh, I can't say no more. I really can't say no more. I am so pleased the way these are all turning out. Now I shall shift that one out, and I shall bring this one in. Get that in. Oh, get that in. All I've done with that is just give it a bit of black paint and rubbed it off. That's it. Oh, to lie. I put a pencil around it. Let's just get the top off.
Something like that. <coughs> it's uh, very difficult to stump the big fella for words, but they are absolutely fantastic. I have no complaints at all with these. Uh, that's it. Uh, a picture tells a thousand words. And this one is storm drains. Now this one is tiny. If I well, if I put this as a needle, get the state of it. But it's got super glue all over it. But this is extremely fine. That is the frame for this uh, manhole, uh, manhole storm drain cover. Which, if you look at it now, these haven't changed since the Victorian times. They were cast that way, and even modern day ones are still exactly the same. And also we've got a smaller storm drain. This would be the type that you would have in, probably in your back garden, yard, or somewhere like that. And that has a really fine frame to it as well. So this is going to be very, very interesting to cast. These ones are supposed to be cast in resin. Uh, but they do say that you can cast them in the ultra hard casting plaster. And like I say, I've got the ultra hard casting plaster. So I shall attempt to do it in plaster to start off with because I don't really want to be mucking around with resins. And hopefully I can get this out. So I'm off now to cast this one. Right, start off with, to be fair, to the manufacturer that made this mould on their website they did say this would be a resin pour and they did state that and they did state that with if you were very careful you could probably get these out using casting powder now I had a go because I didn't really want to mess about with the resin uh, and as you can see they are really delicate they are really delicate I did about five castings and I got one out of it that was bang on which is that one and a drain cover I think with a little bit more practice on my behalf I could actually get that I could actually get them out using this detail wise absolutely fantastic as you can see on these smaller storm drains absolutely stunning molds they, they really are they, they really they really impress me and for the price of them you can't yeah you, you can't really go wrong and uh, if you want to do any diorama work these are the things to go for so that's that one and that's the end of the the whole four.